Two new studies have just been published suggesting some positive things for those of us who, number one, like video games, and number two, are screwed up in the head. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and this is relevant to my interests. First, a study was just published in Nature showing compelling evidence that the classic game Tetris might be able to help people with post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Researchers enlisted the help of 71 volunteers, so not a lot, bear that in mind, who ended up in a UK hospital following a traumatic traffic accident. Uh, or I should say traumatic traffic accidents. It wasn't like a bus accident where all 71 people came from one act. You get what I'm saying. Uh, while these people were still in the hospital, half of the subjects thought about their accident and then played Tetris on the Nintendo DS. And the other half just kept a, an activity log as a control group. Over the next week, the people who played Tetris experienced significantly fewer intrusive thoughts about their accident and generally felt a lot better than the control group. The Tetris players reported that playing the game was easy and fun, even for older people who had never even touched a Nintendo DS before. The researchers had previously found that Tetris works for things like this because it's so visually demanding. They compared it to games like a pub quiz game and found that those sort of verbal games allowed people still to be able to form rich visual memories of what had just happened to them, while Tetris makes it impossible for people to imagine and relive that traumatic event in the crucial hours right after the event where those rich memories really get implanted into your head. This is just early research involving, again, a really small group of people, so more studies are going to need to be done in order to see how far-reaching the results might be. After the first week, it didn't seem like it had much of an effect. But with a bigger group of people, we might be able to see a bigger effect. And if that holds up, uh, it could be a really great tool for hospitals to have on hand uh, to rather easily help prevent PTSD before it even happens. Pretty cool. Uh, also this week, California researchers published a study suggesting that video games might help in treating depression. Uh, this sort of thing has been done before, and unlike the headlines I've read about this study, I'm going to put the big caveat up front for you. Uh, the researchers used very specific brain training app games, not just like Call of Duty or Overwatch or whatever, and they didn't study whether or not the games actually helped reduce the subject's depression. Uh, so what they did find was that the subjects were, were more likely to keep using these apps when they got message alerts, and they were also more likely to feel as though they had control over their depression, particularly when the alerts emphasized the fact that their depression came from in, an internal issue that they could correct through brain training. The researchers found that prompts suggesting the depression is external, like due to your crappy job or your dog dying, made people more likely to play the games for longer, but to not really get the same long-term benefit as the people in the internal group. That might translate to some bad news. Spending hours playing Overwatch because you're depressed isn't necessarily going to help you at all. The real benefit only comes from the belief that you're actively bettering yourself from the inside out, giving you control over something that you maybe previously felt quite helpless about. Again, this is preliminary research that ties into a whole bunch of other studies on the benefits of these types of apps. But it is exciting to me that we live in a time when we're no longer just dismissing video games as potential brain destroyers, and we're now actively exploring the potential of a really powerful interactive medium. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to train my brain on murdering people in Overwatch. <laughs>